Today I'm going to teach you how to determine the carat of your gold and we're starting right now. First step to determine the carat of your gold is to visually inspect the item. Look for hallmarks on the clasp of your necklaces or bracelets, inside the rings, or on the back of pendants and brooches. You can even find hallmarks on the post of your earrings. You may even need a magnifying glass or a loop to see them clearly. Look for stamps that say 10K, 14K, or 18K. These are the most common purities of gold, but it is possible for gold jewelry to be 8 carat, 16 carat, or even 22 carat. Some jewelry may even have the purity stamped on it. So 416 would be 10 carat, 585 would be 14 carat and 750 would be 18 carat. If your jewelry is marked 12 carat, there is a high probability it is only gold plated. Also, keep an eye out for letters after the carat stamp like GP for gold plate, GE for gold electroplate, HGE for heavy gold electroplate, or gold rolled. But if it is marked 14 KP, that actually stands for carat plum, which means it is exactly the carat or purity that it claims to be. Gold plated items only have a thin layer of gold over non-precious metal. This may also be determined by any fractions you may see stamped into your jewelry, such as 1 10th or 1 20th, which describes how much of the weight of the item is actually gold weight. This is not definitive though, as some items that are gold may not have a stamp or it could have been worn off through wear or repair. Conversely, many items could be stamped with a carat, but are in fact fake gold. Which brings us to the next step to determine the carat of your gold. You can easily purchase a gold testing or assay kit online that will give you the ability to more accurately determine the purity of your gold. These kits will cost you between $10 to $20, but are well worth the investment, especially if you have a lot of gold to sell and you don't want to get taken advantage of. Most kits come with acid solutions to test for 10K, 14K, 18K, and the more expensive ones will also have 22 carat silver and platinum solutions. I advise purchasing a kit that comes with a touchstone, also known as scratch stones or testing stones. Then you simply take the item and rub it on the touchstone so it leaves a nice thick mark. Then apply the 10K, 14K, and 18K to different parts of the mark left on the stone. Be careful not to mix the acids as that will throw off your results. The acid will eat through the mark of carat it is not. So if it dissolves 18 carat and 14 carat, but 10 carat is still clearly visible, then the gold is most likely 10K. If 10K and 14K hold up under the acid, but 18 carat dissolves, then your item is 14 karat gold. This works no matter if the gold is yellow, white, or rose gold. If the marks dissolve under 10K and 14K, but 18K does not dissolve and turns a bright white silverish color, then the item is actually sterling silver. Now this gives you a good estimate of the purity of your gold, but it is not definitive. Most gold jewelry is under carat, so if your piece is stamped and assays as 10K, that implies that 41.6% of the weight of the item is pure gold and the rest is other metals. You divide 10 by 24 to get the percentage of purity. Or for a piece that is marked and test 18 K, that implies that 75% of the weight of that item is pure gold and the other 25% is other metals or alloys. The reality is that most 10 carat is really more like 9 carat and 14 carat is around 12 and a half to 13 carats. But there is a way for you to determine precisely the purity of your gold. Now you have a very good idea what carat your gold is, you can bring it to a gold buyer, jewelry store, or even a pawn shop, anywhere that advertises they buy gold. They will be able to more accurately determine the purity of the gold based on their years of experience. And some even have XRF analyzers that determines the alloy chemistry and carat classification very accurately. These machines are very expensive and not every business will have one. But if you find one that does, they will be able to give you a precise percentage of the purity of the gold jewelry, as well as test your jewelry to make sure that it is not gold plated and is in fact solid gold. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so others can find this content further on down the line. And please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. If you want to learn how to get paid the most for your gold, check out this video right here. And if you want to know how to determine the value of your gold, check out this video right here. As always, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time.